Mr. Scientificals behind me. Catman's on his way. Folks, look at all these motorcycles lined up here. This is all overtime pay, each and every one of them. I mean, I don't mind if they smoke cigars and if they stand around and click overtime. I just like to document and record it, that's it. Not that long ago, I was arrested by Sergeant Tomeo in Marina Del Rey at a LAPD DUI checkpoint. But Sergeant Tomeo said the sidewalk is open. It's okay for me to use it. I'm just not allowed to stop walking or stand still because if I do that, he's going to take me to jail. So I politely disagreed. And he handcuffed me and informed me I was under arrest. Can I please just be on my way? And so instead of being a police sergeant who was supervising a DUI checkpoint like he claimed he was, he was a police sergeant who spent his whole night in the police station with me handcuffed to a bench trying to instigate an argument and a fight with me. I almost thought I seen him. Is that him? Holy shit. I think I just saw him. I think I just saw him. I think I just saw him. There he is. What do you know? That and the, you know, sunny, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mr. Tomeo, how are you? I just wanted to wish you a good evening. Hold on one second, let me turn my camera on. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. How you doing, Mr. Solomon? I'm doing well. Look, I have a new helmet. I didn't appreciate the fact that you booked my old helmet into evidence, right? I'm being, I'm being polite. You have a bulletproof vest and you have your tools. I ride a bicycle in traffic every day. And I requested that you not take it from me. And you did. Mr. Solomon, I, how won't, can I, how I can won't I won't bring I won't bring that up ever again. Okay. I just brought it up that one time. I didn't think it was reasonable. You have a good evening. You too. Have a safe ride. So make sure you put lights on so nobody runs into you. Cool. We would not want a drunk driver to hit you. I, I appreciate that. You have a good night, Mr. Tamale. You too. Okay. Basically that's what I came down here for was to have a word of Tamale. And sometimes there's no need to even say it. I was a perfect gentleman then, I'm a perfect gentleman now. You know that was in front of the guy's house, he lives right there. They arrested him for a DUI on a bike in front of his house. Merry Christmas, it's December 1st, 2017 in Marina Del Rey. And Sergeant Tomeo is still out here running free making six figures. You see this guy is doing the the test, touching his nose, and the police officers are chit-chatting. They're not even paying attention to the test that the person is doing. That shouldn't be a huge surprise. He's too busy writing down the results that he's not watching. If I aim my camera just right, these police officers love to sit around the big cone up their ass, I'll tell you that. Apparently, Catman just caught himself a couple of dirty LAPD motorcycle officers. You're gonna have to go to Onus News Service to watch that video. Is this the guy? Good opportunity for him to redeem himself. Okay. And, and, and um, I don't need to tell you to try to keep it positive, but I hope we can do it. I'm gonna do my best. I was trying to keep it very um, positive and nice when I was down there, and it still didn't work. It's just gonna be. It's just gonna be a little bit. So they'll have another. Sergeant Tomeo, are you busy? Okay. Right, that's a good sign, right? Yeah. That would be awesome. I would have rested you for asking that question. Well, I'm If you can't identify him, I don't know how it was. I think one of them said Sanchez. Oh, you got the name. As soon as I asked them for their names, they got on the motorcycles, they started revving the engine real loud. 
You remember what happened when they did that last time? They crashed into each other. Yes, Mr. Solomon, how can I help you? Uh, this, this is my friend, um, uh, Catman, I think he has a question. I don't know if you remember from uh, the last checkpoint on this new service. I was down, just down the street there in Washington trying yeah. to film uh, two motorcycle officers that had just arrested a guy. I think he's in the trailer right now. Okay. And uh, he was in handcuffs, and I'm standing at a safe distance, 20 feet away, and they started shining the flashlights at me. My understanding is that the person was asking not to be filmed. So the officers could care less if you were filming. They were trying to basically protect that person's privacy. But if a person says that they don't want to be filmed, we're going to we're going to try to protect that privacy. Okay. The officers understand it. There, there is still some expectation of privacy, even though you're in public view. So there is varying degrees of expectation of privacy. Mayo admitted that those guys came up and told him before we even went over there. You notice cops always justify what other cops do? Always? It's, Can you see it from their perspective? Not only that, they're like they're like children who, if one of them knows the other one is going to tell, then they try to tell first. They try to tell first. Right? That's, that's what happens. It, that's exactly my point. Yeah. It, so long as they tell Tomeo first, then yeah. then they're right and you're wrong. Yeah. And actually, even if you tell first, they're still right and you're wrong. So. Well, I think the video's gonna. Oh, there's the things. It's just ducks, Captain. There's two ducks. Oh, you can see. Oh, there they are. Dude, there's no way they could have been. Making, they were making splashes that big. They were huge. Argue with the ducks. I see them right there. <laughs>